Hi, Leos. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. Feels like I just did one. I'm just catching up. Actually, I, I'm trying to catch up. Um, but it really does feel like I just did a reading. It's okay. It's okay. Leos, thanks for watching, guys. Calling in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for the sign of Leo, please. This is the archetype deck. Kim Kranz. Archetypal energy. Let's see what we got. Overall energies. Of course, I like my oracle, so I'll probably be pulling another oracle card with this. Oh, wow. Leo's. Money, 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 money. That's what I'm thinking. I'm feeling. I'm thinking. I'm feeling money. So we have the seed. Something that you planted. Whatever this seed is, whatever this represents to you, I'm going to take it out. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> looks like okay. the destroyers, like um, when you yourself, it's like if you are Terminator and you're the one <laughs> that's blasting crap away and you're like, I don't like that anymore. I'm going to blast it away. This is what I want. And you plant the seeds for what you want. And Leo, I must say it's amazing. Now, the castle, there's a little bit of a warning with the castle card. And the, the biggest warning is materialism um, to watch out. But Leo, I can see green. So maybe green with envy here too. And it, but you know what? Eh, I don't know. I, it depends on your situation. It depends on what light Leo you are and it, how you're handling all this um, money energy. Um, prosperous, prosperous energy. And, and for those of you that d have not felt this castle, this is like the penthouse energy. It truly is the card of having everything materially appear that you've been wanting to appear. Um, if you have not, then it's from this seed. And the seed just needs to grow. Look at it. And this is also telling me that if you are feeling and seeing this, uh, these results, that you're just going to end up feeling that much more. Do you see how it's radiating? And it's like, I don't know what you're growing, but I have a feeling it's like one of those goldfish that the bigger the, bigger the area that you give it to live in, the bigger it's going to get. Have you seen those gigantic goldfish? Like... Are those real? You know, the ones in the, la the lakes that they, that they, anyway, okay, that's a side note. That's, <laughs> that's a side note. I'm being silly. But yeah, I mean, what, whatever this creation is, it's going to bring in a lot of success for you. So I'm happy for you here. This is a good message. <clears throat> no, I say it's for next 40, the next 48 hours, but it's really, it, it's whatever it's resonating with, with you. This can be a seed that germinates for months, years. You know what I mean? This, this could be something that you're really, it's long-term growing. It's going to continue growing. It still is this seed. It still is this baby. But growing in something much bigger, much bigger. This is, by the way, the Moon Oracle. I'm going to pull something from it, too. Hey, what messages do you have for Leo's? Callie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we are in for a fight. <laughs> You're in for a fight. But let me tell you, Callie wins. Callie wins. If you are... Um, mm, Mm -mm -mm. If, you, if you are about to go through a door where you feel like this is something, it's a total different, this is a battleground, okay, this is a battleground with this Cali card, um, I'll tell you the story of Cali, I will have to look up this, this other card, the story of Cali, and I'm even going to go to the book, so I can give you the right everything, but do you see the, um, do you see the heads that she's holding up and, and the blood coming from the heads? What happened was she was fighting this, um, 
monster. It, it was to fight for the gods, actually. She was fighting for rights of the gods. I mean, so it was, it was a good reason why she was fighting. She's trying to defeat a demon. Every time a drop of blood that she slain on this demon dropped to the ground, out sprouted a seed, another big giant fighting monster coming towards her. Every single drop did this. So she got out her wine glass and was like, well, I'm going to make a show of this. And boy, the show that she put on was every time she hurt or slain the giant or the demons from this point on, she drank the blood while she fought. And that's and then she killed them. That is how they ended up dying. So it's like she went into this fight saying, nothing's going to stop me. Not even the most extreme situation you put me through will stop me. Whether this is a fight to get what's yours, what's rightfully yours, this castle feels like it's yours, Leo, and you're not going to let anybody get your castle. Uh-uh. It's like over your dead Cali body, and that's not going to happen. All right, so I, I like this. Let me, um, yeah, let me look up in the book real quick what they, um, I want to give you the... Okay, she is the black goddess. She's a moon goddess. She is Sagittarius. She is fire sign. The key phrase is, if you fight, you will have to pay the price. <laughs> so, it's like, that. I feel you, Leo, are telling people that. Or are telling a situation like, if you pick with me, you're in for, you're going to be in for this, okay? If you want to fight with me, just know that I, I'm not going to stop. Uh, just know that you are Callie. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Well. Full moon water. This is already like a very, um, I'm getting powered up. This is a powered up reading. Full moon in water. Flower and fulfillment. Wow, isn't that coming up to, yeah, the full moon. Woo-hoo. <sighs> fulfillment. This is a period, Leo, in which the successful outcome of a very emotional in issue is indicated. Yes. 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 Good, Leo. Thank God it's about time, Leo's. Leo's good. Because, you know, sometimes you're reading something like, wow, this is a lot of shit to go through. And it is. It is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to go through, but it's very, like I said, it's, it's triumphant here. Let's get you um, an angel number. Wow. I hope everybody views this, not just for views. I hope everybody looks at this just to understand that the fight they're going to put up is nothing. Like, no, no one's going to have anything on you with this energy. <laughs> my wine glass can you imagine the card is talks about can you imagine the people in the stands <laughs> like when they see how she how Callie deals with these giants sprouting from the drops of blood can you imagine the look on their face they said she has blood all over her at the very end of the fight holding this cup like oh my god yeah i can i can imagine it for some reason i'm imagining that okay 19 independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you yeah you're well you are the leader you're leo the leader says you are extremely capable in life and work and you aren't afraid to take the big risk to achieve the life that you desire i am a pioneer you're doing things your own way 19 Doing things that may not be traditional, and that's kind of like, well, good, because you wanted it your way anyway. So it might not be traditional, but it's it's Leo's way. It's your way, and it's, it's going to be right for you. It will be right for you. It's authentic. Now, some of you all could be wanting a family and a house, and this could be like that American dream there. <laughs> For some, I don't know. I, I don't feel, I'm not feeling that with the most of you, with most of you, by the way. But some of you might, you know. Scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you. You may need to start sounding the love alarm, though, spreading love around. 
I'm just feeling the need to tell you that there might be some dark areas coming up. And that's why I'm saying spread the love around. Um, influence, your influence, and your ability to alchemize the situation, to turn it from uncomfortable to how uh, we're happy. We're having a good time because we're going to change. We're not going to sit in this horrible energy here. We're going to move on. We're going to move past it. We're going to go forward like a good leader. Like a good leader. Oh, and remember, if you're worried, Leo, this is like, this is why I'm saying this is a shit reading. This is a good reading. Sorry, I'm cussing like that. This is a really good reading. I need to remember. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Spirit has a plan. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Did you know that they eat stuff that's actually poisonous, that, that eucalyptus? It's actually poisonous to most other things. But the koala spirit, it, uh, well, the koala bear, it, it has a way of, it basically, it's, its whole body has changed the way it, that it digests things so it can eat the one food that's kind of poisonous to it. Anyway, you know how slow and methodical they are? So that I feel like that spirit's plan is that, oh, wow, yeah, here, clear out the clutter. It's time to get rid of the clutter in, the, in your life. That's what that's talking about. Time to get rid of the clutter in your life. Um, <clears throat> what else? Yeah, let's do this Osho Zentera. I did get it out for a reason. And then we're going to go, um, go into your reading. Osho Zen Tarot. We could just use this for your tarot reading, and I could just scoot some of these things over. Yeah. Is that all right? That work? That works, doesn't it? Okay, then we have this space over here. For Leo's, for Leo's spirit. Next 48 hours and um, whenever this really resonates with them and helps them. Uh, what is the issue? What's the issue for Leos? Nice. Everything is working out. Everything's turning up roses. Because everything's turning up roses. So it really is. Eight of Pentacles. Ordinariness is what it says on the card. But working. Things are working to satisfaction. Well challenge is that you're more aware right now of this situation look how aware this koala bear polar, i mean koala bear looks like with this doesn't that scream to you awareness in that face with this very aware you're methodical now and you're aware of the things that can jump and try to scare you you're aware this time The um, heart of the matter, or the base, the base, let's say the base, underneath it all, at the root, we're integrating, we're becoming who we are, integrating shadow and light, we do that on the outside, we try to turn things that are shadowy into a light, we alchemize, that's what we do. We start with doing it inside ourselves first, and we integrate. We don't get rid of, suppress, or throw away anything. We use everything. Everything has a purpose. And that's why you integrate. Past energy. The king of pentacle, upright. Over the affairs of the house and the uh, finances, for sure. Maybe business, too. And this might have been, this may have been the start. I don't know. This could, I mean, this is good finances. And this could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, too. This could be regarding somebody who is married or taken. Or, I know I'm going off on a few areas, but I think it means a few things for a few people. Might be somebody who advised and helped you handle money in an entrepreneur situation, business situation, nine of pentacles, independence, free from attachments. 
Okay, the present energy. What's in the present energy? You're worried. You're worried that... Um, you're worried about an offer. I don't know if this isn't like... I don't know if you're going to understand by me saying you're worried about an offer. I don't think you're going to understand it like that. I think that you're worried that what you're about to do, what you're about to jump off and do, even though being guided by spirit, you're kind of worried you might fall anyway. So they're trying to say, trust this situation with them. Trust spirit. Because there's an uneasiness that's filling this present energy here with that card. Now, some of you all might know a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that might not be trusted. And that, that might be indicating a person here. Let's go further. Let's find out more. What's the um, near future energy? There's that Nine of Pentacles. You have eight, nine. So you're going up and um, you're progressing so well. I feel like you got advice. You worked on it. And dang, here's this uh, reward. The Nine of Pentacles. There's that reward. Money, finance, abundance, finance, uh, winning, lottery, inheritance. This could be so many things, but what it is is successful uh, on your own. And, you know, with this Eight of Pentacles, I'm seeing one person work in there. Not like that's going to be your situation. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this reading is about you. You're pioneering this land, this area in your life with spirit. And people from your past life, they're showing up. This is in the you, past lives. This is in the spot. This is how do you feel? Maybe you're starting to have memories or maybe you're feeling like, yeah, there are a few things that are um, familiar to me. Maybe, maybe kind of questioning now why certain spirits that come in and out of your life are... Um, feel like you've known them longer and of course this might be people from past lives this also might be integrating past lives since they're right next to each other this might be about you spending this lifetime integrating the past lives their issues that they needed to wrap up or drop or karma that they needed to be dropped because it's like enough's enough craziness drop the crap already Yeah, I feel like this is major integration, solving, solving, mending, oof, generations, lineage. The situation around Leos, situation around Leos, it's landing right on top of this past lives, right on top of it. The five of swords, conflicts, you're ending the conflicts. And the internal conflicts, too, from this past lives card. And stop with the comparisons. Stop with the comparisons. And, and that's the message. <laughs> that's the message. Hopes and fears. A bad decision or a poor judgment call. That's what you're afraid of. It's because of the past. So, truly... I wouldn't be afraid of a bad, poor decision. I would just make a vow not to make any poor decisions anymore. No more bad judgments. No more, you know what I mean? No more bad calls. That's what that card is representing to me. Or a failed partnership because of just it just didn't, not putting enough work into it or something like that. It could be Gemini. Had that outcome for our Leo's. And it just completely, I love it because I think it was going to go in the reverse until it flew up from my fingernail. So all of existence, Leo, the biggest message is your last message. And it's the outcome. If Leo were not part of this existence, then all of existence would not be whole. You, what you add, it helps make everyone else and everything whole on in all of existence that big of a message for you leos you are very important all right let's get you um underlying oh, look at that the best card in the book you've got the last card and the first card you've done a complete wow wow 
you have mastered something. Self-mastery, emotional mastery here. That's the best card in the deck. It's like, it. it's the master. It's know thyself. I feel like Leo knows thyself. I hope so. Flowers. Flowers will brighten up your space and create a very friendly place. I need to get some flowers in here, don't I? That would be nice. Okay, surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. And an invitation could bring love to those searching. Friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. And I'm going to get you a dream totem too. And then I'm going to close out your reading. Leo's love. Before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to love, it will flow into your soul. And maybe that's the message with the be done with the comparisons, you know? All right. Thanks, Leo. Sending you much light and love. Bye-bye.